A lot of rumors have been going around about the brand new map program called Tailspire. Is it worth it? Is it really all that it seems up to be? Well, the Homebrew Crew has an early access copy, so let's take a look. Welcome to the Homebrew Crew for a very special early access look of Tailspire. Yes, now this is a really neat program that is essentially going to help you build maps, actually use physical minis, and run combat and even like cutscenes and all these awesome camera angles. I personally don't know a lot about these programs, but Tony has been fiddling a lot about the settings, and it is early access, but there's a lot you can do. Yeah, it is. It, I, it's completely mind blowing, but instead of me just talking about it, I thought, why don't we show you? And here we go. All right, you guys are going to have to bear with us a little bit because we have a lot of clicking that's going to go on in this. It does utilize the keyboard for it. And please note, this is early access. There are bugs and this is still a work in progress, but this is probably one of the most fun I've ever had in creating maps. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now, you kind of like dabbled into this a little bit. I saw a couple of pictures of this and it looks really neat. Uh, and from my understanding, there's a lot of things you can actually do with the map builder here. Mm hmm. Yep. And we're going to take a look right now. So we're gonna start by clicking on begin. That's right here. And I have this little test one that I've already created for us. Oh, you're gonna see Betrayed Nation. That's my my Steam name there. Ooh, Don't add me. Nice. Um, yeah. Or you could, it's fine. <laughs> um, and we're just gonna kind of go into it real quick. You can invite your players to this. Now each player absolutely has to have their own uh, login for it. So they have to purchase the software as well. That's the only one drawback that I see to this right now, but it is an awesome thing. And you can see we set up a tavern here um, and there's full moving around in wow. this tavern. Yeah, I, I will say really quickly, I, I know you kind of like zoomed in here, but like the, the detail and the lighting and, and kind of everything looks really nice. Oh, you mentioned the lighting, huh? <laughs> I yeah. sure did. So yeah. you, you have full environmental controls over this stuff too. Right, so anything that's in here, uh, you can actually go over here with it and go to your atmosphere effects. And let's say we want a nighttime scene instead, Ooh, we really turn it to a look. nighttime scene, yeah. and now we're in there. Um, each each token, each player. I know this looks a little dark, so we're gonna we're gonna brighten it back up a bit. <laughs> Uh, but each player token and everything that you have in here does have uh, the ability to have a torch as well. So when you have it dark like that, you now got their torch and the players can see and all of that. Um, you've got full dice rolling that's in here, which is kind of neat. You just grab them and you throw them. Love that they're actually in the environment. That's awesome. Yes, and they bounce <laughs> off of minis, which yeah, is kind of interesting. Great, just like real um, so you've got that, and it tells you what the total was rolled. Uh, there is a chat log and everything for your players, so you can see all the stuff that, oh, you can't see because we're in the way. Um, so there you go. So you can see all of the stuff that's there. <laughs> nice. Uh, and all of those, which is really cool. I'm going to close the chat message and move us back. Sorry about that. I know that was confusing. Um, but the real power of this thing comes into the build mode and what you've got set, right? So we're just going to go back through this and we're going to turn on our build mode. And actually, I'm going to brighten that back up because it's easier to build in the daytime than it is at night. Generally speaking. And uh, I really want, I really love this, Sean. Like, this is one of the coolest things about this software is that you automatically you have all of these different options as far as your your base your castles your castle ruins your caverns and caves and it's it's literally point and click so if i wanted to do you know a little thing here i've now made a little staging oh, wow. area right um but you can also grab your walls and things from that so let's uh let's grab some desert village or maybe a dungeon wall there and uh, here we've got some walls that are set, and you can you can place these directly on it like that, and you've got your walls there, um, or you can also play with the plane that you've had, right? So we can move it down further. Really uh, appreciate how like kind of like modular everything is. I mean, like if you played video games before with anything like a creator, this is actually really intuitive, and it's nice that everything is kind of nicely organized. You can clearly see that there are edged walls, there are curved walls. Uh, I am not even controlling it, but I can already clearly see like the different dimensions and everything. It's really nice. Yeah, and so you've got this whole 3D view that you can create. And you can make your dungeons for each one. Um, now, the thing is, is what good are dungeons without doodads and monsters, That's true. right? So as you're making them, you can place each of these little doodads in each corner. Or, uh, you know, we want to put a bed over, over here. Let's uh, turn the bed a little bit. You can turn everything in 365 degrees on it, by the way. 
it's really nice because uh, I know there's a or couple of programs. It's uh, 365, so yeah. a little bit more than one. <laughs> There's a couple programs where, like, you know, they're not as user friendly, but like here, a lot of it is just kind of like, you know, click and drop, you know, which is right. really nice. Right. Right. And then, of course, you've got your your monsters, uh, and the monsters in this thing, guys. This is this is one of the coolest things that I love on this thing, is that the it not only gives you basic monsters, and this it has a ton for being just like a pre-alpha kind of thing. Um, so if you've got like uh, here, we'll put a orc guy here. And we'll put uh, another couple of orcs over there. And uh, when we're out of build mode here, you can see what these guys look like up close. Oh, I love that. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> that looks great. So as you're moving them, you move them, and they move uh, square by square, so you can count it. You can set this up to be feet. You can uh, have all your rulers. They, there's complete rulers here for it. So it'll cast like a, you know, a a range spell or whatever and it does that whole thing you've got it set there right so it's also got cones and lines and all the other stuff that you might want to measure in there but aside from that even in these um, as you're adjusting these guys let's say we have some major spell that makes this guy grow like super tall right so under GM tools you can set the size of each of these guys and he becomes gigantic now right <laughs> but what's cool is even when you're moving these minis it shakes the screen <laughs> a nice detail. as you're moving it across. Um, it's a really awesome thing, and I, you know, playing around with these has been kind of interesting. Um, combat, we're going to go into that in a second here, but there are just so many options. Yeah, it's really great because on the side of a player, you know, I mean, like there are a lot of other great programs that you can use to run games, but having the visual power here and having that three representation. Uh, it's a really awesome thing. Um, I mean, you know, you can use your imagination and it's always good, but having this at your disposal, there's a lot of opportunity and potentially you can kind of build off of this. It's really neat. Yes, you know, we just made a couple of trees and Lots forests trees. or what have you. Here's a double tree. Not the hotel. Yeah, not the <laughs> uh, But you've got some of those things with it. Now, um, I have set up a couple of other boards here. So you can set up as many boards as you like. So you can have different scenes and different things for each of your characters. You can even copy out a board uh, and have it all set uh, with it that way. Oh, wonderful. So let's go to my forest cave, shall we? Yeah, be careful. You may waste an entire day building a village or a cave. So, so beware. <laughs> look at this. Like this, it, this says forest to me when you're looking at this, right? It's just, it's perfectly, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, and, and the cave uh, detail looks great too. Yeah, now there are some interesting DM tools that you can use with it. Uh, like this one here, uh, you can set these little things up. When you hit tab, you can see uh, different DM tools that you have mm -hmm. set up. Right now, these ones here are for night and day that I set up. So if you click that and you click apply, all of a sudden it now gets dark. And if you click this one, and it goes light. This is good for when they're entering the cave or what have you, and you want to have it, you know, be darker in there. Mm -hmm. And then you've got things like this that are scenes. So you can set up snapshots of what's going on, and you can bring your players directly to that scene. So when you click on that, it's going to bring them here, and they see this. They even get the little black, and black bars yeah. at the top and bottom. And you can speak as that orc, Arg, right? And you can see exactly what's going on. You you can use this to actually tell your stories too. I think it honestly might be my favorite feature. For one, I haven't really seen this in another program or a way to make it so accessible to like run a cutscene. And two, this is actually really great. I think using cutscenes and angles like this is a really great way to tell stories. And if you're not great with voices, go ahead and type out your dialogue. Mm -hmm. You know, absolutely. That's awesome. Absolutely. Now, there are little effects that each one does. There's there's emotes that they're adding in here. Like, that's him. Ooh. You know, he's wiggling yeah. now, right? That is a wiggle. He's got a little twirl. Uh, they've got surprised actions with that. Uh, again, we went over the torches that they have. You can hide them as DMs, uh, and you can't see it here, but when you click it, you can reveal them so that they, you know, they get stuff like that. Um, there are other GM tools, like uh, you can assign it to a player or make it unique so you can edit the stats and the information on the monster itself uh, and then always have it on your side here for that. Um, and then there's, let's see if there's anything else in here. Ah, yes, my, one of my favorite features in this is the fly. So we said, okay, okay, oh yeah, he's flying, right? Now when you drag him, it actually puts your flying 
uh, pedestals so people can actually see just how high up he is. Oof, yeah. And you can calculate your damage that way. A very difficult thing to do in real life or even in some programs. Sometimes it's hard to tell what height is. So this is very awesome. Those things are expensive in real they life. They are. Oh, okay, I never understood why. They are. Um, so you've got all of that. You can do all of these different scenes. Uh, the last thing I kind of want to show you here is the, um, is the stuff here on the actual combat. And we're just going to kind of move around here. And here we've got, I'm going to pull this up and back. Here we've got our little, um, well, I think she's a, uh, a dwarf Ooh, cleric. Paladin. Yeah, yeah, cleric or, something like or that. paladin with it. Uh, well, whoever it is, I pray for their safety as they're about to fight three orcs, but continue. Right, so now you, <laughs> as, uh, as players with that, we're going to go into the turn-based mode here, and we're going to add some of these people to that turn-based mode by clicking this little thing. We're going to add our cleric and these three orcs, and maybe that little doggo in the back. Too. Oh, I didn't even see. Oh, he's vicious. Oh, watch out! And you apply a turn order. So this will be displayed for all characters that are in your campaign, and you can assign these tokens to somebody. So you will give player permission to each token, and they'll see when their turn comes up, right? Oh, Dwarven Paladin, you were right. Oh, okay. okay. I know a Paladin when I see one. So when it's her turn and you click it, you'll see that your token picks up that token, mm -hmm. right? So now you can click on your monster you want to do, and we will attack that monster, and it actually does animation based nice. on what was going on with it. And then the monster's uh, turn's going to be up, and uh, unfortunately, this guy... They've got little attacks and things that they're going to do. This one knows Magic Missile, so they're adding spell effects to this. That is very cool. And, so, you know, in real life, you never want to hit a mini on another mini, so you can definitely live out your dreams of doing that in this program. Right. Now, <laughs> again, it's it can't run on everybody's computer. It is mm -hmm. kind of intensive, but it is probably one of the cooler softwares that I've ever seen, and it really gives you that 3D perspective and that feeling of actually playing with minis. You're no longer that little token. Yeah, for sure. I think there's a lot of great value to this. And again, if you're able to run it and if you can get everyone on the same program, I think it's a really good thing to, to try out if you get a chance. Mm -hmm. Now, that was our sneak peek into this alpha, mm -hmm. but we've got something special to tell you guys. Yeah, so seeing as we think this is really cool and we want other people to try it, we're actually going to go ahead and give away a copy of this program for one of you guys to win. All you have to do is share this video with your friends and post this on social media, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook. I don't know. What else do the kids use nowadays? Discord. <laughs> all of those different things. And uh, we will enter you to win one of our, our particular... Well, then, particularly a copy of this. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so be sure to share the video when you get a chance. Uh, we'll probably leave more details in the description down below, and we'll be sure to announce the winner and send the message whenever they do announce the winner for that one. And if you guys have any other cool software that you want us to take a look at for DMing or anything like that, go ahead and send it to us at dmbrewcrew at gmail.com. We'd be happy to take a look. And remember, the best campaigns are the ones that are home brewed or the ones that are early access. So until next time, keep, keep brewing. brewing.